Alki is a jewel here in Seattle. During the day, Steve Pumphrey says families are out enjoying themselves. It changes at night. And it always has. In his 25 years, he's had a front row seat to Seattle's skyline, as well as the crime below his balcony. Four in the morning. Awoken in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's one in the morning. Sometimes it's three in the morning when this happens, or even four in the morning. He's taken to capturing footage of what he says is street racing and tricks. See him sitting up on the door now? In August of last year, Pumphrey, along with Mike Gain and other Alki neighbors, banded together. We call ourselves the Harbor Alki Neighborhood Group. Their focus is cleaning up the RVs and encampments, addressing rising crime and after hour partying. Our goal is really to work with the city leaders to bring Seattle back, specifically West Seattle, to what it once was. And already they've seen changes with cleanups, speed bumps, and lane dividers. Coming down Harbor Avenue and Alki now is better than it's been in years. They are really making some headway, I must say. But says with their city and police partnerships, there's more that needs to be done. The early curtailment of park hours should extend beyond just the beach. With their previous success, the group feels change will happen. As a community, we really have come together and we feel we're all in this together. Now, the group has more solutions like finishing cleanups, adding speed bumps, and increasing signage where parking is prohibited overnight. Live here in West I'm Chris Goodwillie.